Hello, my name is Shadley and welcome back for another episode of uh, Baldur Crusaders in year 4. And uh, in previous episode we managed to win the war against Danzig. It was a quite bloody war to be fair, but we did manage to do that and now we're just waiting for some rebellions to fire. So we beat them down, then we'll start drilling the armies again I think. Mostly because I think we need to get the professional some up again. And also the drill is quite, quite nice as well. But yeah, I was just waiting for these two rebellions. I don't want to provoke them right now. Because I don't want to lose manpower more than I have to. I could technically pay off another loan. Well, we'll probably get a prompt to do that soon enough. But at least our income is now a little bit higher than what our expenditure is, so that's nice. But yeah, we still got ooh, uh, quite a few loans to pay off. Cossack aggression. Let's go out of response. Okay. They do not like me for some reason. I wonder why. We don't have the Cossacks as a uh, estate for ourselves. Ooh, and nobility. Are they? They are getting closer and closer, so as soon as we can, we should be able to grab more lands. Well, next month, maybe. No, I'm gonna have to wait until February, I think. But then we can grab more lands and we'll get over 30% already. Which actually doesn't have much of an in impact yet, but... We'll slowly get to at least 40% so we don't get the negatives. Oh no, oh there we go. Oh, we actually lost the negatives at 30%. Excellent. Right then. Things are looking good. I could form the German nation, but no, I'm not going to be forming any nations. Right, let's uh, claim Lodoga. Then we could probably claim that one. I'm not sure if I can claim this one. No, I cannot claim across the lake. That's unfortunate. Understandable, but unfortunate. Ooh, extra manpower. Don't mind if I do so. That's one step closer to getting the um, agenda done. We should be able to get another one directly afterwards. If there's something that is going to give us money, then I will certainly take it. Now, to be fair, if we could get up to 40% land controlled... Summon the diet again, and let's see, so that would... They want base tax to go up. I don't want to use admin points. Okay, so we'd have to own one province around there to satisfy the nobility mission, or number of loans less than one. Uh, how long do we have? 20 years. Can I do that in 20 years? Not necessarily, but I can certainly give it a try. We're getting a decent bit of uh, income now. Renew another loan. So the inflation is still staying relatively high, but it's going down slowly. I'm technically, I could sell land, but I don't want to. We just got rid of the negative modifiers, so I'm going to have to wait with that. Actually, how big of a... Alright, so we got 19,600 our limit on manpower. It's not a lot. Can we increase our army? If we didn't have a... Ah, uh, we could. Quite a bit, actually. Ooh, National Tax Modifier. I will take that. More income is always appreciated. 
especially since we have plenty of loans to pay off. Oh, high income. Uh, construction cost, construction time. Do I need that right now? I'm not going to be building anything, so I'm going to hold on for that until we are actually going to be building. Aha, uh -huh, we could claim that. Oh, we could actually claim this. Alright then. Uh, we'll take the mill points. Not too tempting to not take. Right, we are claiming a lot of uh, Moscovite, not Moscovite, Novgorodian land. So still got their two allies, but they are weak at this point. Now, if I could get over here to get to the White Sea. Unfortunately, since I start in the Eastern Europe, I can't make trade companies over there or anything like that. Right, so we still got, what, 10 loans? Right about there somewhere. I'm going to have to take that to be able to pay off another loan. Jody is now the leader, and I think we're going to name this after the Athean. Right, so we got that. We could take the innovativeness from Miltech, but I want to save up these points because we're still behind in admin. Quite badly, actually. We can't really embrace it either. It's going to be rather costly. Advisor cost. Ooh, that's actually handy. Saves us a little bit in... Oh, right, and we can pay off at least one loan. Royal of Art. Ooh, that's very nice. Turning Prussian people, okay. And the revolts have still not happened. On the other hand, it does save us a lot of manpower and all that, but the upkeep of army is a bit high, although I'd be drilling the army otherwise, so it's not really that big of an expenditure. It's not getting the professionals in map right now. There goes the truth with Novgorod. Now the question is, do I wait for that one? It's going to take a while. Or do I declare war on Novgorod now? I'd rather wait for these uh, rebellions to either peter out or be crushed. Poland paid off all the foreign debt of Hungary. Hungary is still independent. They are allied to Poland, so I suppose that's alright. Or Well, not alright, but understandable. Okay, we can pay off another loan. Hmm. How much would we pay for this? A thousand. It would give us the cor uh yeah, it would give us the corruption. I can't afford that right now. I'm just gonna wait. Although we are almost at full points. Um No, I'm gonna take that. It costs a lot, and it's gonna give us corruption now. Which is a going to be expensive but at the same time I want to be ahead in tech because Novgorod is now level 6 already Lithuania is 5, Poland is 5 okay so I might be able to beat down Poland again at some point assuming that they, well they still got pretty strong allies ooh hold on a minute lose admin power, I don't want to lose admin power but at the same time, I don't want to make clergy unhappy. On the other hand, it just says that they're unhappy. That doesn't mean that they will rebel quite yet. And it should be increasing with quite a speed. We're losing devotion and tax and all that. It's almost half a percent per month, so it's not that bad. It's going to be a few years. But we did lose a fair chunk of our income there. Right, the Livonian order. Oh, the Livonian separatists, they should be firing soon. Although I've been seeing that for a while now. Can I get another claim there? Yes, I can. Could get a cannon at some point, but probably not yet. There's more important matters to. 
Take care of prestige and middle point. I will take that. Now, Memo is going to have that soon. Spreading very slowly to Riga. Golding is already 51%. That's 70%. 57 in Ermond. Oh, two shell is almost 100%, so that's going to be another 26 ducats out of the prize. Actually, culture. Oh, speaking of two shell. Produce a grain, so local force limit. I think we want a bigger army here. What are the documents? I'm going to take the devotion right now, that's going to increase our income. So we can pay off more loans. As soon as we get that, we start getting the quality ideas. We'll get the infantry combat ability at least, maybe the second one as well. We're so much ahead of time in Miltec right now, we're gaining so many points in it. Thanks to... actually... no, not anymore. We While Ansung was the leader, we got a lot... a bit less now. Let's have a look. Okay, Jody is a very good maneuver and decent siege, and Atheon has a uh, decent shock again. Come on, let's wait for the Livonian order. All the Livonian separatists. Why, oh, god damn you! Influence? Oh, bollocks. Well, I'm not gonna use admin points, I need them. Which may be a bad thing. I don't really have a choice right now. How long do we have the truce with Poland? Three more years. Okay. So if I declare one Novgorod, they might try to attack me again. Although at that point, I should be getting help from both Bohemia and Brandenburg. In theory. Oh, Brandenburg has an Empress Renaissance. That's nice with them. Bronze cannons. Price of copper goes up. What are we actually producing here? A lot of naval goods. Some... Uh, a oh, fair bit of livestock, some grain, a little bit of gems. Oh, we lost the Commandant. We could get the high income again, but I don't think we need that. Is that morale of armies is good? I'll take that. And yeah, that's about it. We got four different goods that we're producing, none of which are bronze. Oh no, actually we have fur over here as well. Okay, make that five then, but it's still not very good variety. Okay, the loyalty of clergy is rising up still with a decent speed. While we await. Novgorod separatists are gonna fire soon as well, okay. Are they gonna fire? They might actually fire sooner than the Livonian and Lithuanian separatists. Which is slightly annoying. Oh, there we go. That's one of the revolts. About time. They do have the forest, but it's not going to save them. So is the Lithuanian... I'm going to just increase the autonomy here. It's already 90% anyway, so it, we lost 10%, technically speaking. But we can get rid of one of the revolts. And the Novgorodian separatists are going to fire soon. Once they fire, we'll kill them, reinforce our armies, and then we're going to attack Novgorod. And ignore the squeaky chair. We've got a decent uh, spy network in Novgorod already, so once we start seizing down, it's going to go rather good. Okay. I can't say no to stability, even though it does cost a fair bit. Poland in praise renaissance. Do you think we could embrace it? If we took some loans, then yes. I was going to get to Menel soon and Goldingen. We might spread from north to... Ooh, Revel has already 78%, 79%. And Neval has a fair bit. Okay, so it's, it's spreading, that's for sure. Ooh, Diplo... I will take Diplo points. 
try to catch up in tech. I mean, the admin tech is still behind a little bit. We do have a high income. We haven't actually built any of the buildings yet. Other than the one marketplace in Danzig. Which I'm presuming the AI did not destroy. No, they did not. Good. That would have been a bit annoying. Oh, and the revolt fired right under us. Alright then. Um, at this point, no grudge. How many do you have? You've got 15,000 men, we got 16,000. Oh no, that's, uh, they got 13,000, we got 15,000. Right. Let's get in here, we can probably slow down a tiny bit. It's only the regiment. So we've got the two siege pits on this army, so that's good. We could start increasing our army, quite frankly. How much are we going to gain from losing Novgorod is actually a good question. Probably a fair bit. Oh yeah, 2.3. Okay then. That's going to be a nice boost of our income. Now, we need 9 units here. We'll probably send in that one and maybe that one. Send 5,000 men off there, so they can hold off on their own a little bit. We can seize down a bit more. As soon as the... Hmm, it's probably been a month now. So if we take that, that would be Novgorod only. What about that? Okay, that would be Moscow. So we won't be able to take a lot of land from them, unfortunately. Unless maybe there. That would still be Muscovy. Although, uh, how much do we have a year on Muscovy? Only nine, but if we wait for a year or two, which is probably going to be what the war is going to take, then we might be able to take another province over there, for example. Oh wow, the reforms are going... Well, actually, it's only the second reform. It's not that bad. We've got nine loans to pay off. I mean, it's the amount of uh, debt is now 620 instead of 900, so we've done some progress in there. Just not a lot. So they got 14,000 men. I'm pretty sure that our troops are a lot better in quality. At least if we have a look at the war enemies' morale, we've got an entire point over them. Alright then. There we go, we seize down Novgorod. Time to move in there and there. Everything's having a regency. Unfortunately, we can't really do anything about that. For good or bad. They've got 8,000 men moving up this way. Okay, I'm going to move you to Carnival. We'll go to Karelia. Seize down these areas and then join here. Oh, Denmark is trying to build a spy network in me. Somehow I'm not even surprised. Do they even have a fort here? I don't think they do. Nope. So that was the only fort in Novgorod. Too high taxes. Okay, um. I'm gonna increase the autonomies for now. Although I don't like it, but I don't have a lot of choice. I don't want to get a rebellions firing all around in Estonia and Lithuania. I just need to keep an eye on this area here. If we see the enemy armies, then we can go in and intercept them, hopefully. Now, we could be paying off another loan if we want to. I'm going to wait until they fire so we can pay off from the pop-up. Or rather, when it expires, there is a army over there. It's only 3,000 men. Send this one down here. Get a little bit closer there. 
Right, let's repay that one. Now let's have a look. Would they accept the peace deal yet? So if we take that, if we take that, would that be a coalition? Yeah, Moscow would still be. So we're gonna have to wait. We could take a fair bit of cash. They would not accept that, of course, yet. But how bad would that be? Ooh, that'd be fifty-nine. So that is definitely the better option to keep Muscovy out of the coalition. They siege down that one. We don't have a fort over there yet. But once we capture more land from Lithuania, Kaunas, for example, then we'll be able to desiege that automatically. Oh yeah, they got 6,000 men here. They're trying, but it's not going to work. Okay, so they're trying to siege over here in our home to so to speak. Ooh, hold on a minute. That's there are a bit of Russians here. Let's get to Olenets. Get a little bit closer. If we can lure them in to attack us in there, I don't think they'll be that stupid, to be fair, but. Nope, they're moving away. Right, would they accept that now? Nope. And that would still call in Muscovy, so we're going to have to wait another year, I think. To avoid a coalition. But with Novgorod, we can make sure that Muscovy doesn't form Russia. Which is going to be a lot better for us in the future. Because although Moscow is strong, Russia is even stronger. Ooh. Citizenship functions. I don't want the clergy loyalty to go down even further, so I'm going to take the stability, actually. Oh, hey, I can actually start converting it. Well, I could start converting Loki, but... Mm, that's, uh... Not quite good. We we'll down that one. Would they now accept the truce? No, not quite. Moscow would still be okay, so we're gonna have to wait. Uh, we're gonna have to go after that army, actually. It's gonna be Forest. We got a good leader. So we should be able to win this. They got a lot of cow. More than what we do. Even with the terrain penalty, we are just beating them down. Our losses were about 2 to 1. Not great, not terrible. Okay, we're losing a lot of the cash now, but... We can seize down the final provinces of theirs. And they will... Ooh, they will actually accept that now. Again, Muscovy might join the coalition. Oh, actually... I'd like to humiliate them, so if I... If I don't take that... Take a little bit less cash. And not that. Humiliate. They would not accept that. Even if I took that. Okay, what if I take only Novgorod and humiliate them? And how much money would you give? Not a lot. Okay, we can get another loan paid off with that. And owning Novgorod, we still have a decent area there. So we are returning home. We could get the high income again, but I don't think I want to take that quite yet. We are about to ready to get the... Oh, they lost their trade league. Huzzah. We could technically claim this one. That's probably not going to be a very long truce, is it? 92, okay, 12 years, so it's still fairly sizable, I'd say. But it's not the worst. Lost claim on Plock. Okay, so we do need to start getting more claims on Poland again. And we can stop claiming Novgorodian lands. Right, can we... 
252 Empraiser Renaissance. Golding is not far, Revel is not far. How expensive would Revel be? Uh, 18 nuggets, okay, so not that much. There's plenty of promises that are going to get the institution soon. On the other hand, if we took the... Hmm. I do want to get that one. Okay, what I'm going to do... Choose with Lithuania and Poland ended. I know that we are technically out of time already. I'm going to take two loans. It's going to make uh, getting the mission done a little bit harder. But I'm going to save up a lot of points there by taking that. So I can take the next admin tech soon as well. And now I can get the uh, quality ideas. And get at least the first idea there. And with that, we are indeed our sign of this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll show you the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, bye-bye.